Hey boys, I figured I'd address something here. You guys hear all the glamorous stuff, how I get high mileage out of, you know, the whole setup and drive line. Well, here's an axle that went kaboom. Not the first axle we're working on. It's a 3,500 Ram. Obviously, it's missing an axle. I can't, I can't show you guys a lot because this, this uh, truck is all stickered up. Um, so I just didn't want to go back and editing stuff but the point of this video is this axle has 350,000 and this guy does exactly what I do as far as work working his trucks and why does he at 350 has to uh, redo his rear axle well here's my opinion guys and everyone's entitled to opinions so don't fall off your chairs commenting away how retarded I am but <clears throat> we've got Dave with us today Davey hanging out with Papa today so here's the deal well, let me show the mileage so y'all can understand. This, uh, this axle started making a whining noise under a load, so the bearings are starting to go out. So we pulled it off for the customer. Well, shoot. I think that's 359.747, so let's round it off about 360 on the rear axle. I'm pushing 460 and uh my axle is still good so knock on wood and everything 100,000 more out of mine compared to this and the biggest issue on hand is i believe two primary things the rear diff i know you guys are going to say gail banks but there's a reason why uh the manufacturer puts a little bit of uh aluminum finning i'm talking about oem okay just erase everything else and let's just talk about oem caps the, you know, the high torque number dualies get the aluminum fin caps in the back. That's what I'm talking about. What I do in all my vehicles, I throw those on. And <clears throat> I throw uh, fresh fluids every 50,000. As much as I can. Sometimes a little sooner, sometimes a little later. But this guy's first rear diff service was at 100,000. I think that's the biggest damaging factor of this rear axle. He didn't service anything, didn't give it any cooling for the first 100,000. And y'all know that the first 100,000, or excuse me, the first 2,000, your rear diff's breaking in. If you're going to do any early services, you should be probably your diff. I got a story. The My eight or my buddy bought that 18 Ram Limited, or excuse me, Laramie. He changed the oil at 1,800. I'll, I'll do another story on that. Well, there's nothing big on it. Listen, at 1,800 miles, my buddy... Yeah, regulars know it's an 18 Ram bought brand new 1800 miles. He put a fin diff cover. He's like, when I was draining that fluid, man, it was just reeking. Sucker was burnt up. He's like, I don't know what they put in there, but it don't look good. It didn't smell fresh. He's like, I don't know, man. Keep in mind, he's the guy that um, used to service trucks here in the shop. So he's seen these every day getting drained and he knows what's normal, what's not. So that's something funky. He didn't really tow anything with his for the first 1800 miles. But anyways, to make a long story short, wrap it up real quick. First 100,000, not a single fluid change. And then after that, they kept it around 50 as much as they could. And no, it wasn't overpowered. It wasn't overloaded. Guys, keep in mind, these axles can handle a lot more power than stock. If you service them right, they should go and go. You know, referring to my 460, we just did a service on it. You know, you see quite a bit of shavings. But ain't whining yet, thank God. And ain't grinding, so thank God for that. I don't think that axle will last a whole lot longer, but I'm doing my part doing the servicing. And as soon as it starts whining, we'll pull that axle out. But this one's been giving a little bit of attitude here for a little while. So I said, hey, before you grenade it, let's do bearings. You know, it's a lot cheaper than doing the, the gears. And that's what we're looking at. This is a rebuilt axle. You know, it's a lot cheaper than another axle. And if you buy a used one off of someone, you don't know how it's been serviced and all this shit. But yeah, you can pull the diff cover and all of that. But here we know we got fresh bearings and everything's co-faceted and some warranty anyways that's the story of it i know it sounds very confusing i'm fevering i'm trying to do my best here for y'all while i have this chance i will share the positives and the negatives of the ram as i mentioned i've i've video recorded through rounded off three hundred sixty thousand on this rear diff and i had to get reserviced and i don't think it's it, it lived its full life i really think it got damaged i'm doing a recap first hundred thousand by not getting any services a little bit of diff cover, primarily biggest thing, I think that hurt it the most, is the fact that he didn't service it on time. That's it. So what all one needs to do, working his truck, not working his truck, well, not working is a big thing, but he was working his truck day in and day out. Out of those 360, probably has 340 pulling trailers. 
So anyways, that's the short gist of it. If you were to ask me, I would tell you to do your best to do a fluid change at 30,000. It's a singular case with my buddies at 1,800 miles that oil reeked, but usually in the first 30,000, I advise you to keep it about 50,000 miles as much as you can. And uh, <clears throat> that should give you the mileage I get out of my axles. Next thing, I do have one problem, child. One axle that gave me grief, but that was from the get-go. I firmly believe the pumpkin is deformed, so the bearings never sat right from the get-go. I mean, I had an issue at 40,000, 70,000, and I think like 80,000, I had to file to dealership. That was a waste of time. I should have just installed another used axle on there because i knew the the pumpkin was deformed and go from there and just rebuilt that used one when it gave out um so yeah service 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 you're working your trucks every fifty thousand. you're not working your trucks every hundred thousand don't go past that but don't try to pull off 100 while working it you're gonna have to pay the price for it use high synthetic oils i'm a schaefer's guy no one's paid me a dime from schaefer's advocating for them but i like their products so yeah, that's my look. That's my story. And just sharing it with y'all. As always, boys, may the Lord bless you. May Almighty find day. Ciao, bye.